I got laid off. I got fired. I got fired. But here's the thing. I was a binge guy. I remember seeing her at the local titty bar. I feel dirty right now just telling it into a microphone. We're broken around here. Working man is Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Working Class Holes Podcast. I'm your host, Ed McGowan, here in a break room with my co-host, Josh Ricardo. Eddie. How about it? How you feeling? I'm feeling great. Our guest is just charming. So she charming. She stole my silverware and had me thank her for it. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, she has I a can't. really funny Don't Tell Special Out Now called Am I Ready to Be a Father? The very funny Liz Glazer. Oh, Liz. thank you, Josh. Uh, thank you. Hold on. I'm going to jump right in because we always yeah. fuck up. We want to okay. stay on track, but we can go wherever we want after this. But what is your craziest day job? Let's just start there. Okay. So, first of all, I do have something to say to start this, which is I... Spent a lot of time, like I went through every single job. I felt like I was filling out a bar application. Oh, this, this and so, so okay, funny. okay. This is the most so, prepared guest we've ever had. I love so this. annoying. Okay. <laughs> but the thing that I kept thinking is because this podcast is called Working Class Holes. Right. Okay. And as a result, I was like, oh, so it's like what what people are asking in that type of a situation mm-hmm. is like a working class job. And a story I remember is when I was a law professor, which I was, I roll. Really? I, law yeah. professor? Yes. We had a lawyer, and now we're going up. We're about to get a Supreme Court justice Literally, in here next. Yeah. yeah, that's next. Okay, yeah. so, and I'm not, like, whatever. Okay, I was a tenured law professor, and it's, like, a very, like, uh, as I'm saying this, I'm, like, with the... <laughs> <laughs> it's a very... Hold on, let me get my little spoon. Actually, like, where's my microphone? <laughs> could you get it for me? Sandra, okay. Sandra Conner O'Day or whatever. Right, right. <laughs> So, so she anyway, took a Werther's out of her mouth before she started. <laughs> okay, so I when I when I had that job, okay, there would be these conferences, and they're basically like comedy festivals. Like all the professors go, yeah. and like the ones that are cool are the, the ones in who's. good places, and yeah. So there was this one that was like in Florida, and I mean it was in the middle of July, but it was like a really nice hotel, and your school pays, and like the people who went there were like. You know, I mean, some of them are nerds because they're law professors and not that I'm not, but like whatever there. But there was like a young like cadre of of law professors. And so we would hang out at the pool. And one day there. Did you say saucy? A little bit. Oh, yeah. 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 You're right. Cadre. And then you went right into by the pool. And I was like, I got a little Ah, lift. Yeah. Totally. I was was really I was like, I hope Josh brings up cadre. (laughs) Oh, oh, I was going to. I. Well, I actually, I thought a lot about it before using the word, and then I went for it because I'm like, literally, I don't know another word. Like, I guess a group. I almost started patting. I almost started patting <laughs> myself. <laughs> I was like a bunch of us. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're like a, a quadrant. Cool. Us guys. I, started, uh, oh, I was proud of myself <laughs> because I I figured it out through context. I was like, oh, I put those like yeah, sixth yeah. grade fucking context right. clues together. Yeah. <laughs> I just imagine Ed's brain. It's like a fully fanatic, a crackhead, and they're trying to figure things out together. <laughs> and, and M80s goes on. <laughs> yeah, the two of us, two of them trying to light an M80. <laughs> so, okay. So we're sitting by the pool and um, it's like young law professors, right? Yeah. And everybody's like, hey, let's play a game where we say all of the jobs that we had, like growing up, okay? And so like person goes and they're like, oh, I, ha- I was like in an ice cream truck and I was a counselor at camp and I was a CIT and I taught volleyball or whatever. And then this one guy, okay, and he's like, well, I was a fellow at Stanford, and then I had a Harvard, like, you know, chair, or whatever, like, all these things, and and it went on for, like, a Uh. long time. And everybody in the cadre. It's like a no name with fifty credits when right, you right, get brought right, right. up. Like, but it's no it's name. also like like he didn't get There's no awareness. the game oh, yeah, of like yeah, everybody's yeah, yeah, yeah. like I was a, a slave and a yeah, housekeeper yeah, yeah. and like whatever. All scraping the bottom, dude. Yeah. yeah, right. And that was the clearly the game. And then he goes on with all these things, and everybody is just like looking around. And then his, I think. Yeah, I think his wife was just like, okay, like, stop. <laughs> At some point. I had to stop him. Okay. <laughs> and oh. years later, he was murdered. <laughs> I was almost going to go and he killed himself. No, no, no. But, but I'm not kidding. <laughs> But I'm not kidding. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Okay. All right. I'm, no disrespect to whoever this. I don't know. Sure. To, uh, but, yeah. But after hearing this, if there was only one story of your like defending your life with Albert, yes, Bush, there was one story they need to know about you. Yes. To figure out someone like how someone killed this guy because he's annoying. 
<laughs> it was like in a bar. He was in the middle of a story. <laughs> he was talking about Harvard chair. Somebody just, it was, somebody just broke a bottle. But it's like, it it's like, literally, like literally he was murdered. And, uh, I kept thinking about that story. First of all, I don't not think about that story. I think about that story because first of yeah. all, like it was a murder. There are podcasts about it and like whatever, Whoa. whatever. And I think about it not because, I mean, yes, I've had that thought too of like he was murdered because he's annoying. <laughs> and obviously like, like that story aside, it's not a good reason to kill someone but reading the room wrong yeah 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 no is, uh, like remember in right. casino you've seen casino right i think okay so anyways just, uh, real quick sorry to yeah. interrupt your story but there's no. a scene where uh de niro's character is just yeah. walking in the bar yeah there's a guy speaking to a attractive young woman okay uh de niro's character knows her they shake hands briefly yeah nikki santoro joe pesci's gangster character comes walking in during that time Obviously, the gentleman talking to the woman is very upset about this. He says some uh, impolite things to mm -hmm. De Niro's character, seeing that there's a gangster right next to him. Right. And then he gets stabbed with the pen. Now, whose uh. fault is that? <laughs> Granted, oh. yeah. the sociopathic sure. nut job is in, it no, shouldn't no, be yeah. free. Totally. Okay. But you're a guy hanging out in a mob bar. I know. You don't know who this guy is. Yeah. And you tell him to go fuck himself. I mean, right. I feel like that's the kind of guy we're talking about. Yeah. I honestly. In a nutshell. Yeah. yeah you're not wrong. And so, and I, you know, I've had that thought whenever I've watched like, you know, the things that come out, I'm just like, oh my God. Like I would literally never go on any record about it or whatever. <laughs> but the law professor just came out. She's like, hold on, we're going to territory. I need to expunge myself. I'm going to have to redact a couple things from this. I have to debar. Oh, it's going to be those black bars. That's what we came up on the last show too. Idiot. Oh, you get debarred? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. I, well, I wouldn't care about that, but like, I, yeah, so, I, I, but I meant it, I meant Three it Three people more. get debarred from our podcast. <laughs> That's a credit. The fucking feds are on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but I just was thinking, I was thinking about that because I was thinking of like trying to get the story right, yeah. you know, or like the, the jobs right. And I was like, oh, I don't want to be that person. <laughs> oh, you want to be that well, you, yeah. Yeah. you sound yeah, right, like yeah, yeah. you're educated and accomplished, which well, isn't bad. Sure, sure. Right. But then also, I mean, so, okay. I... And, and honestly, like, I have enjoyed a lot of my jobs. Do people say that? Yeah. Yeah, that's Some not, people. You know, yeah. I, we, him and I debate over this constantly, especially on the mm -hmm. road, because, you know, there's a way we want to start the show out to get people on track, because I no, feel no, like a totally. lot of comedian podcasts, we, they let yeah. people kind of go on in places where you're like, if yeah. they had one thread, they could still go those places, but right, it's right, like right. Totally. And the craziest job thing really kind of is the thing for me where we're like, what's a job where you're going, what the fuck am I doing here? Oh, 100%. Why well, so am I, I doing this? And you so, compare like where you are now to that job and like the similarities because that's how this podcast got started. Hmm. Us driving to a gig. Okay. And it was a shit gig and yeah. we're just like man, this is a lot of work. You know what I'm like? I have like five extension cords in the trunk. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? And a PA, PA right. and like uh, Home Depot lights and everything. And yeah. like, I'm like, this, and we're driving back and I was just like, that's a lot of work. For like, yeah. you know, it was like 15 people. You know, it's yeah. just a shit gig all around. And I was like, right. is this better than waiting tables? Ah, <laughs> interesting. You know what's so great about that? Maybe you, yeah. I've been in it longer than him. So yeah. for me, it happened a lot sooner. But the great moment for that with him is that it's, that's how much we had been working and that's how grateful we were yes. is to say that is this worth it yeah. because it became a job finally. Right. It wasn't like, right. look at us, we're on the road and yeah. we're gonna make about a 50 schmackaroos. Like yeah. we weren't these yeah, yeah, like yeah, pie-eyed yeah. yeah. dopes. Right. It was yeah. like we were working. We right. had worked yeah. the full year our asses off yeah. Yeah. and we looked at it as a business now. As yes. fun as the stage part was, I mean, I don't yeah. know if, I mean, I, you have Don't Tell coming out which is awesome to yeah, have like yeah. a really sure. great piece of work with a a notable totally. company behind you moving yeah. your product, which yeah. is something you can only dream of as a comedian. Yeah. But ultimately, it's still a fucking rat race. <laughs> it's 100%. not easy. Yeah, you know? yeah. And I mean, I'm thinking in terms of like shit gigs I did, it was like the day after Thanksgiving and it was in Altoona, Pennsylvania. That's like my go-to uh, city. Really? Whenever I want to talk about a city that no one ever oh wants God. to go to. Well, <laughs> I have five people of Altoona. I'm sure you're great. Sure, they're not. And <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> it was... Um, it was a well. First of all, on the way there, I was like talking on the phone with my mother-in-law. And this and is the Friday everybody's off. 
Yeah. It's yeah. Like, it's like, I know. That it's was like the Friday. favorite family day for me where you get yeah, to hang out with everyone totally. and you're in a car. <laughs> Driving to Altoona. Yeah, it was such a bad choice on my part. And it wasn't enough money to Eat it. make it to, worth yeah, it. To, right. to take yeah. the L. Yeah. I stand yeah. tall for an L for some money. Totally, yeah. because I will... That's the thing is like, everybody's like, oh, the money doesn't matter. Like whatever that type of thinking. It does, it does. When you're in the middle of the shit. Yeah. Because I will think like, okay, but it's okay because... I'm getting paid this and that. And maybe that doesn't matter ultimately, but it does matter in that moment, I yeah. think. But it does matter. It it's a signifier too. Yeah. Like you're make you're at this point in your career making this much money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a shit gig. So totally. like it's like it's a uh it's a mile marker. Right. At the same also time. turning down shit yeah, gigs. Yeah, like yeah, I did yeah, that yeah. Yeah. the other day. Somebody was like, Hey, and it wasn't even far away from my house, but it was like, Hey, do you wanna do whatever like headline uh, it was a temple and it was $250 and I didn't want it was another comedian who said it to me so I didn't want to be like I don't know if you negotiated this deal but you did it wrong Yep, because that is, is insane that's a $500 gig it, it, at, at minimum, least at a minimum and, and like then I was like okay well maybe they'll just want me to or maybe do you're, maybe you're skimming it Y- yeah, uh, whatever. Which is fine. That's your gig. I, but I still, just, I was like, okay. Knowing your worth though is how you can negotiate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, then, yeah. but then it was like, what? What is it? How long's the set? When is it? And it was like, oh, you would do like twenty to thirty minutes, and we're also gonna do improv games. Whoa. And and yeah. I was like, nah. I have some other you know people. Because I, like, <laughs> that... I was, I was like, I'm gonna get the name after this from Liz. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you know, I'm working good. on my Jewish material. <laughs> yeah, they call and, me. Philly uh, uh, Youngman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's just, I mean, and, and it's like sometimes, you know, like if it's not the kind of thing, if it's a booker or another comedian who's coming at you with the price, you know, I will say yes, of course, to like a club or something for $25. Oh, it's going to be like, something more coming yeah. down yeah. the hike. Yeah. 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 Let yeah, me yeah, ask yeah, this. Yeah. Is a, this is a good yeah. question then. It's a good business question, comedy yeah. wise. Yeah. Do you feel like, uh, the club situation. Uh-huh. I feel like the club situation. It the the proof's kind of in the pudding with a lot of places yeah. now. Where if you're having to utilize twenty comedians on a bill to sell uh, a half a filled room yeah. on a Thursday, yeah, that's troublesome. Yes, considering how well Don't Tell mm. has been doing with pop up shows. Yeah, and honestly, I. I've been a byproduct of the pop-up show yeah. formula and it's worked quite well for me for like the last seven years. Oh, that's, that's where the most, yeah. of my, that's most of my money. Right. Clubs barely using me. Yeah. You find an alternative. Yeah. And now you're competing with, if you're a club, the rent you're paying wherever you're at. Yeah. Paying the comedians you have to pay and then ultimately the marketing side of it, which is X amount of dollars. Right. To people that are able to just do shows pretty much in any venue that you can imagine that has a sure. liquor license and or a beer and wine or clear yeah. like sell beer and wine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you saying you'll do a $25 club spot. Yeah. Can we talk to the audience about when that, what kind of clubs you're talking about saying you'll take a 25? You're not doing yeah. that for uh, Chucky Chuck fucks. You're sure. doing it for like an improv, a funny bone, a, a, yeah. a, a club that you for... want to be in at. Yes. And also that's near my house. Yes. And that's, uh, a, oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I thought we were talking about just in general taking club no, spots. You're I talking mean, about here in the city. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I, so I, rather I, than leave the city and make a hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. You'd rather do a fifty dollar club spot and save yeah. the travel, yeah. Well, because also then you can stack them. Yes. I mean, because it's like you know, with that temple thing, part of what I was thinking is like, if this will allow me to get to the city later that same night, then fine. Sure. If it's fifteen minutes, and maybe that's okay. So it's logistical. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god, I love. See, logistics. I was coming at it from the political slash how do I maneuver this but that's a, no. well, that's one way to look at something but yeah. the, the the logistics of it all it's is, all about the time yeah. I'm yeah. the same way yes. my time yeah. I, economical I, was, I had I bombed last night on this show and I was I was driving home and I was oh, more yes, I saw that you were promoting that show I I'm was, not going to say it on air but <laughs> I was more pissed like yeah. the bomb I didn't even care about I was more pissed that I got there a half an hour I was told the wrong time oh 
and I got there a half an hour early before any. I was there. Oh, so you were just rotten. Oh, oh, I was just man. stewing. I was just sitting around, and I went up there, and I was kind of shitty on stage. Uh, yeah, you, <laughs> you yeah. probably should have took a walk I, around I the really, block or something. I was <laughs> talking to another, co- another comic, and he goes, you should leave, dude. <laughs> huh. You're not in a good. I was like, you really? that upset? I don't know. I was just like kind of cranky. You know, I don't know. Yeah. You've seen me get cranky yeah, before. Yeah. And I, I couldn't shake it. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> I wish I was there. <laughs> yeah. Who's going to talk to you off the ledge? <laughs> I, I feel like I could have. That's where my head was at. I'm like, I could have gotten I love that. your energy, man. You're yeah. fantastic. I don't even know you. <laughs> I yeah, you're also really, working really good. like yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. Wait, but the end of the Altoona thing was that it was a cat fundraiser uh, for for cats, which I'm like, that's on brand See, for me. Dog stuff, I would do for yeah, very little. totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's something you love, yeah. you do for yeah, very yeah, little. Yeah, I would do yeah. it. So if it was a and fundraiser kind of thing. I would that that does. Yeah, well, I was asked, and I was like, okay, fine. And 500 was what I got paid, and that at the time seemed like more to me. Mm-hmm. But then once I got there, I was like, oh, it's very clear that the headliner is making like a lot, a lot of money. And that bothers me because a guy booked on one of those. Yeah. It's so, it bothers me because I really have negotiated for openers and I pay on top of what I'm being paid for openers. Like if I get more than I've paid the openers Mm -hmm. and I, I don't know. I mean, I've been lucky enough to work with Maria Bamford and she famously does that. And in real life does that. And a lot of people don't do that, and I feel like gross about I, it. I completely agree with you. I yeah. I was in a. This is kind of why with comedians, because mm-hmm. I've been in it for so long. Yeah. That I'm always very touch and go original, like right initially yeah. when I meet, because there's always like a scam, even if they don't know they're doing it to you. They're yeah. Doing it. I had someone whose father was like a, a big finance person. Okay. And he put on this giant show at a very famous club, uh-huh. and it was. Uh, in honor of this abused children's group and okay. I was abused so oh. I wanted to do this gig he asked me if I would I yeah. would do it and I was under the impression you know headline this gig mm-hmm. and he's like yeah you'll headline it and we'll get a you know if you want to find another person so I okay. found him another person and then <clears throat> days before the event his pro- the the point person reached out to me she's like so so and so said that you'll be doing it for free and I was like, no, no, I didn't say that. I said that I would do it for lower than my scale just because it, of the yeah. of the thing. But, you know, if it's a big event like it is, yeah. I'm headlining, they're like, well, we're going to use blo- some giant, it's like not a giant name, yeah. but a big enough name where I know he's, yeah. he's going to ask for at least 10 large for yeah. this corporation. Right. And I said, no, no, you're going to, I kept the gig because I, I agreed to do it. Yeah. But I'm like, no, here was the agreed amount, yeah. which wasn't that much. It was like 200 bucks. Wow. But then I get there and it's like the dude. It was 200 can- bucks and they tried to get out of paying you $200? Yes. Wow. Yes. And that's why like now when it comes to like yeah. stuff like that, yeah. I am. That's so bizarre. To me, that's like a character thing you show me right yeah, away. And maybe totally. that's working class shit. Like, like if someone's mm-hmm. going to rob me in a deal, because mm-hmm. you know, when you like in our neighborhood, I don't know what you're. I'm gonna learn about your background. But I've like, been mugged. What's that? I've yeah, been mugged. You, you feel yeah. like you know when you're doing a deal what the yeah. deal is, and I'm not talking about right. a drug deal, but like you right. buy stuff from your neighbors all the time. Yeah. Like, yeah, hey, I haven't used this blah blah in, in six yep. months. You want to buy? How many times you bought from your neighbors like that? That's how I feel about stand up. If you're gonna come to me and go, yeah. hey, we want you to do this, and then you're doing it for like, I told you I have trauma. Yeah. You let me say my trauma, and yeah. then you fucking do me dirty. Wait yeah. till you hear who they booked. It was uh, someone I was I could I cooked uh, too. I went up before him and I had to do I twenty five. I fucking cooked I'm that sure. guy. I'm <laughs> sure. Yeah. And when you when I tell you who it is, you're gonna die laughing because you good. know oh, I yeah. gave him that shit too. When he got up there, he was fucking. Oh no! Nice. Oh, oh man, good. I'm all oh, fired yeah. up. I'm like I'm sweating I'm now. So pissed <laughs> off about it. <laughs> That's great. And right when I knew who it was, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna bury that. I cannot That's wait to so bury good. that guy. Yeah, good. So I want to get back to your oh, pool. Yeah. The pool. <laughs> Yeah, you and well, the quadra. No, so I what, meant yeah, that. Yeah, the quadra. So what did you, what were your... Uh... Well, I said, like, I taught tennis at camp. I was a waitress at camp. Oh, okay. okay. Um, you and Eddie? Yeah, and then I was a waitress at a kosher dairy restaurant in Teaneck, New Jersey. Yeah. Uh, that was, yeah, that wasn't... Kosher dairy? Were you raised yeah. wait, wait, wait. very Isn't religious? Kosher, doesn't kind co- of. So what Kosher is it? means no... It means separate. Yes. Oh, it means separate. But also, the, it means the food's like it's, I should know yeah, this. I'm going to take that it, synagogue it means, gig. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you better get up. To I mean, I. Uh, 
they might still be looking for someone. Ed. You brought it up twice now. Can you just relax, all right? I'm trying to make a good impression on my new friend here. I, and the thing is about the synagogue. I'm not trying to say. I just. I think that that's really low yeah. and I think yeah. that oh, it's so low it's so low, so low that firehouses pay way more because, than that yeah. here's the thing it's not an easy gig it's yeah not, I know it's, it's a hard gig yeah, yeah. and it's so not, not going in there. yeah it's just I know and, and I didn't I didn't want to be as direct as I could have been which I thought about being but then I was like, there's there's too many ways that this person on the other end of this can construe this yeah. as me being big timing yeah. this person. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't oh, want to yeah, yeah. go there. So instead, I'll talk about it on a podcast and <laughs> they'll really see barren. it and, and that'll be better. Even but, better. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> no. Way no, better. Is, this is the clip. <laughs> oh, I got one. Though. Okay. So, so you, yeah. you do a lot of camps, like the Jew- Jewish camps. Uh, Are those the I greatest those. thing ever? Because I've yeah. dated some Jewish women that have told yeah. me a lot of fun stuff goes on in the Jewish camp. Oh, uh, sure. Like a lot of yeah. Uh, yeah. coming of age moments, oh. if you will. Yeah, okay. for sure. I mean, I don't have, like, my wife has the camp stories like uh, that, like where she, because I went to day camp and I did enjoy it. And I worked there as yeah. a tennis instructor and as a Are you a waitress. badass tennis player? Not anymore. I mean, and also, I arguably, I never was. Do you play tennis? Uh, no, I, okay. I, I, I play a little. I'm a college football player. Oh wow! I play college quarterback. He brings yeah. that up every once in a while. That's great. Every once in a while, it comes it's a running theme on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime someone gives me an edge to say, <laughs> what if I said me too? <laughs> uh, what a cool. But I'm thinking yeah. of like. Being a tennis instructor yeah. at a camp, you're out yes. in the sun. People yeah, are like, I got checking sun poisoning. You're in. Like, yeah. 18, 19. That's the most Jewish thing yeah. I've ever heard. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I did. I did. <laughs> tennis instructor. I did. I still have. I'm not wearing a shirt that you can. Like, Dude, Eddie's had some serious. Really? The son hates I Eddie. Have, uh, oh, yeah. So you're I've told this on here. Yeah, you have. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I, I passed out. This, uh, this is the short story of it. But okay. I passed out with. Um, a dishwasher. I was the bus boy in the dishwasher. We went to Atlantic City. Oh, I thought you meant the machine. No. <laughs> <laughs> Me he and the on dishwasher. A <laughs> Just he rolled it down to the beach with him. <laughs> Smoking weed out of it. <laughs> uh, but I that's when out. I knew my addiction had gone too far. <laughs> but he put a uh, Walkman on my chest as I've Oh, oh, and, okay. Uh, I have a whole. You can still, still? See, you can still see wow. the album. Dude, isn't that fuck to be yeah. dated Wild. you to That's a point crazy. where you can't even mention that in a joke because no one would know what it is. <laughs> huh? That guy yeah. dated you. <laughs> you have cancer in the shape of a Walkman. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows what a Walkman is. You are the right. most retro. <laughs> That's a that's a fun thing. Like if anyone ever mentions like tattoos, I feel like people talk about tattoos a lot oh. on stage. It's like it's a kind of related it is kinda story. Like a tattoo. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. it's like you didn't have a cool story about it. I it's should like, yeah. I should outline it. <laughs> I should it's like if you're a badass black oh, dude yeah. from one of those fraternities that get branded, you go to the white trash. You're like right. the white trash. The white brand. trash. On the wa- the <laughs> walk in. Throw you out in the sun for eight hours. The Atlantic City yeah. white trash emblem. That's that's wild. But um. What a loser. God, I love you. <laughs> The best. With the fucking dishwasher. <laughs> you throw his label in there, like, and then I was with Congressman. <laughs> Me and him got so sunburnt. <laughs> Why the vineyard that one year? <laughs> yeah. uh, dishwasher Seth. Oh, yeah. He knew yeah. how to really roll a joint, I'll tell you that. Dude. <laughs> you can make a bong out of anything, that guy. Wow. So, why comedy? Because it seems like you had a career. Yeah. Yeah, being it was, a law professor is like it's hard. I mean, to, you walk into get. rooms and people respect. That's like one of those yeah. jobs that when people know who you are, mm-hmm. they're like, "She's a professor." I know, of law. And, and people, it's crazy because I never like I didn't. I don't have um, imposter syndrome as a comedian. Like, not to say that I feel comfortable in every room. I do not, and definitely like I have been in the situation of like getting a thing too early and like being passed at a club and being like scared of everybody there. Oh, right. So yeah. like, I, yeah. I'm not saying that doesn't happen. However. I wouldn't say I have imposter syndrome in the sense that I did like because I remember my imposter syndrome when I was teaching which was like Uh everybody else is like really into this and and I kind of figured out how to I figured out how to get the job and then I figured out how to be good at the stuff about the job 
that made people impressed, which is I, that. Yeah, I actually think that's extremely accurate the way I just said it. And I feel like yeah. that is not a negative thing. Yeah. And I feel like that is how we all should be treating our business. Yeah, it, maybe. It, it takes the emotion out of making a business decision. And that's what's hard about yeah. comedy is uh-huh. you, you get suckered into it by a dream. Yeah. It's like, I only want to be on that stage. And it yeah. becomes like this kind of annoying, you're the star of your own movie thing that yeah. everyone has to kind of deal with. Right. And then eventually when you know it's a it's a job, yeah. it becomes very kind of awakening. That's, you I mean, know, that's a you. really nice spin on it, Josh. <laughs> I, what are you going to say? I, well, I was just going to say, I have none of that. My, ah! whole, my whole thing is like, just tell me, can I just run around? Can I just work? Can I just go to 15 ah, mics in a day? Okay. And will that make it happen? Like, right. I'm just like, can I just like sweat? No. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> None of that makes it happen. Yeah. I mean, it maybe doesn't. maybe 25 years ago, right. it could be like, I get into the clubs, they develop me, I get on a showcase or two, mm-hmm. I get an opportunity. Mm-hmm. It, it seemed a lot more simple then. Now well, it's very more, it's a lot more complicated. Well, I don't mind. Here's what I'm saying is I don't mind the grind. Mm-hmm. Like I right. will, I, mean, I will. Obviously, grind. we don't mind. Right. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, right. but it's about working smarter, not harder. And right. I yeah. think there's some people, and not have, in our age bracket, figuring that that's out. That's what you're saying is you're working yeah. smarter, not harder. And I guess, but I don't have it as much in comedy. I had it a lot when I was teaching because, like, I remember the story that people would talk about this other guy who was a professor, who's a really brilliant professor. Blah blah blah, and the reason he was he became a professor. So the legend goes is he was a, a whatever associate, I guess, at a law firm. He was terrible at it, which is like, oh, my God, can you imagine him being terrible at anything? Because he's so smart was like the way the story was told. And I guess when he was in practice, he would have all these post-it notes on his desk of all of these like legal esoteric problems that arose for him as he was dealing with clients and then those became his like law review articles when he started teaching eventually. And like oh, that so to me great. was such an inspiring yeah. story because and also he's like such like a bigot and like a conservative and like all this crazy stuff. <laughs> but, you know, his passion was there. Yeah. And I think about it because I'm like, I want a, a work for me that feels that uh, urgent. And yeah. where I love that it's, gotcha, gotcha. it's yeah. law. He's still yeah. His love wasn't wrong. Right. Just he was where just like his in love the was wrong. distributed was Correct. wrong. Correct. Like that's, like that's how I the, feel about comedy yeah. sometimes. It's yeah. like there's yeah. aspects of it where I'm going, oh, loving comedy was not wrong. Yeah. But there are certain business things I need to change about sure. this. Sure, right. And I am. So that's Yeah. Like, no, I mean, I you... It. It's kind of how I was with psychedelics. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was like, really, I'm Work more of a... smarter, I'm not more harder. I'm a cocaine guy. <laughs> right. It took me a long time to figure that out. 30, 40 years. So much Found the right dishwasher, finally, who explained explained it to you yeah yeah I mean right so I think about that a lot because <clears throat> in law I did not have that basically I went to law school because my parents were like you should right. I was like okay fine and my parents were are immigrants and it's like that kind of mindset yeah, like yeah, you have yeah. to have a profession like what do we yeah. you know the yeah, Nazis yeah. are coming or whatever yeah anyway and so I went and then I was like I wasn't like a good law student yeah. like but I went to a really good school because I was always able to figure out like okay there's hacks. what do you need yeah there's hacks, hacks and I'm a hack because reaching your full yeah. potential is one thing <laughs> but knowing like the right stuff the, the right boards to jump off yeah is another and yeah that, and being good at both is not you don't it's not in sync yeah. always no no some totally. people are really good at finding the boards and right. other people are really good at the other part yeah that's Having very both true is hard, right that's cool yeah yeah so i i don't know it, it's not an inspired story that's the thing hell yeah it is so working inspiring. class holes that's called a work <laughs> that's yeah, a work yeah. so be able to find a job that can Absolutely. pay you six figures and yeah. you mildly Right. enjoy it to a point oh. where you can do it effectively yeah. and well and go I home. Guess. Yeah. So, so you quit completely. Well, yeah. So basically I I worked at Hofstra for on Long Island for that was like where I got tenure and that's yeah. like my full time job. School. Yeah, totally. And, bet. Oh. Is that a sports person? The Jets uh, oh. receiver from the 90s. Okay. Wayne Kerbet. Uh, oh, yeah. That, this asshole would know. Yeah. <laughs> He's left me hanging out the there. Jets. Like, and my then dick they in my hand. What do I know about the Jets? <laughs> Football, the Wayne Kerbet, yeah, the, 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 the only the white wide receiver before oh. Julian Edelman, essentially, and Wes Welker. <laughs> you don't know that guy? Okay. No. Uh, turn but the your Jets white trash card. practiced you know, at Hofstra. Hofstra. Sorry, okay. go ahead. Yeah, but they also practiced at Hofstra yes. before they moved to. When he got picked up by the Jets, it was when Parcells was there. Okay. 
was like Parcells, like yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know who Bill I Parcells Bill. is? Thanks, Liz, for close. schooling the. F- <laughs> I know nothing the about sports. The supposed Philly fucking knuckleheads. You should <laughs> well, know about sports. I care about the Jets. Okay, right, it's, you know what? You it's, should uh, like. I'm know. rethinking a whole lot yeah. of the business decision. Sure. I made that. sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to get kicked out of our fantasy. What's your bed doing? You got any old guys I can talk to? Yeah, I think he's a comedian now. Get hold of somebody, cadre. I need to get a cadre on my next son. Cadre on the line. Let's see. Name my next son, Cadre. Cadre Cardo. Yeah, that's Cadre Cardo. That's a badass yeah, name. Dude. He's fucking in. He's fucking in, ready to slang yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. So, um. Well, let me ask you this: How hard was it to go from stability, yeah, to instability? It wasn't because I mean that said, like I went in a lot of debt at various points, and that was like compulsivity and addiction. Yes, same. But also, like you know, didn't help that it was like <laughs> no steady paycheck. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah totally. and, and well, but actually, like I think that was during. So we the time still maintain I had our day yeah. gigs. Here. Yeah, yeah. So right. that's why I'm always sure. interested about oh, totally the stability end of it. I could right. never. Go were, ahead, Ed. Were you married when you went into comedy? No. No. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't. See, yeah, That's I another was, hard thing. You were married, yeah, I man. I was married. Yeah. yeah. I, You're I, so I, lucky. I was married. I went into comedy. Yeah. Not a, was not a celebrated decision. Sure. No. Yeah. It's yeah. a hard life yeah. for anyone to even mm-hmm. like you. Yeah, when they totally. find out you're one of those, right? <laughs> oh, you're one of those. I mean, seriously, you're, yeah. it's a hard. Maybe not now. Yeah, but because a lot of people got into it well, that got, have like a stable like a, lives. Well, yeah. plus it's got like a little more uh, mainstream attraction to yeah. it. It's yeah. not like you're Thanks, in a Matt Rife. club. Yeah. you know. Right, 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 <laughs> He's really doing us favors, I would say. <laughs> He's my favorite comedian. <laughs> I'm a huge. I, I don't even know him. I'm sure he's great. I don't know. He's doing us such favors. <laughs> he really I had a buddy who started elevated. comedy before yeah. I left San Diego, and he was like, he saw, he got into it because he would come see see me. He was older, dude. He was like mm-hmm. 40, mm-hmm. and I was like 22 at the time. Mm-hmm. And he's asking me about comedy advice and. Now that I'm 43, I'm like, why was that guy listening to me? Yeah. Sure. He had a family at home. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And of course, what happened? He wasn't funny enough to keep uh, it going. Yeah. And then it started to become a reason for him to be out late. Uh, and then, you know, he got busted. Luckily, his wife took him back. Oh, wow. But he oh, was wow. never allowed to do stand up again. He was, wow. before, he couldn't even come see a show. <laughs> I would come into town to do shows. He wasn't even allowed out of the house. How? He was like 24 hour lockdown. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, Any, like anytime this I was at 25 bastard. miles, <laughs> his, his wife had been following my Facebook. Comedy ruined this wow. guy's life. <laughs> had nothing to do with what he did. I wasn't there. No, yeah. not, you I don't even live here. That's yeah, what's so funny. Like yeah. comedy, that guy's not allowed out of his house. He's wow. li- he's living out of his house, oh, doing eBay. God. He's not even allowed to get a job outside the house. That's I, wild. I was thinking about some of that. Like when you started out, you started doing, you were doing mics, right? Yeah. Well, when I were first started, I had no idea what I was doing. Like, right. and really, like I didn't know mics existed because I was visiting at Northwestern Law School. Chicago. This was after I got tenure in Chicago. <clears throat> I had visited at Loyola, Chicago a couple semesters prior. That semester, the Loyola semester, I took an improv class because I was like, uh, uh, Second City? No, it was at IO, oh, okay. Improv Olympic. Mm. Yeah, but um, anyway, so I took the improv class because I was like, maybe I'll remember what fun is. <laughs> and then I loved it. Mm-hmm. And like then when I was back for the Northwestern semester, the teacher from the improv class was like, have you ever thought of doing stand-up? And I was like, no. And then she put me on her show. Oh, no. And so oh, nice. I, I went to this like, I mean, it was like a sold out, you know, improv, like yeah. camp yeah. bunk full right. of people. I mean, those people. used to be stand up shows I used to do. Yeah. Were sold out. Totally. Such a electric. Awesome those audience. crowds. Yes. Those crowds. They're, they're so pumped so to see stand up. So yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. And like, yeah. I so everybody. Paid, but it was right. Right. <laughs> right. Totally. Yeah. 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 It was one I of those. I got the money from in here, though. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's probably honestly what the temple gig would have been. And now uh, you'll do it. You I'll, be like, I'll be like, it was the best thing ever. Yeah. Yeah. The, the guy who was murdered came back to life. <laughs> Talking I'll give about the punchline. <laughs> right. me, me at the pool with the cadre. Yeah. And padre. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what's gonna happen. I should. Yeah, I'm wrong. I think is the point. And but anyway, so I did that show. I did one two weeks later, and I was like, oh my god, this is the greatest thing ever. Wrote an hour. Oh. 
and was like, I'm going to need to find somewhere to perform it. Made after two gigs. Yeah. So great. Uh, oh, that's fantastic. Three weeks later, whatever Such it was, lost, maybe like a month later, <laughs> got like a lot of people to the back of a bar, another place in Chicago. And, you know, there were probably like 50, 60 people that like showed up. I flyered everywhere. Like, so it was called a one woman wedding because a year prior I had been engaged to be not married. It was civil union. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, if you remember oh, those. Right, yeah. yeah, yeah last. Yeah, but anyway, so I was supposed to be civilly united with this woman who it was a great idea that we never did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wrote a show that was me marrying myself on what would have been the one year anniversary of that civil union. Mm-hmm. So I made like... So a little bit of an improv kind of sketchy yeah, well, yeah. kind of one, one, one show. Yeah. show. A yeah. one person show. Yeah. I played... You get a, you get away yeah. with a lot. In a totally. I've done, I, yeah. I yeah. love the one person show because yeah. I also like to act. And it's a yeah, great way same. to utilize both and not feel like you're cheating the audience. Like totally. Totally. Stand up club. Right. It's really hard to accomplish yes. that unless people are walking and going, I'm going to see this act yeah. for this reason. You know, 100%. Uh, and yeah. so, you know, I what mean, a cool I, way to figure yeah. out your jokes because you yeah. get to pause, you get to be reflective, right. and then you totally. get to dice it up and figure it out. Yeah, I, I guess. I mean, I have the tape. I would say it's a little more one woman exorcism than wedding yeah. because it's just like, yeah. this was a lot. It was 56 minutes of like me being. Not good, yeah. You know, yeah. and like finding Unearthing it. Some shit you've never said totally. out loud. Yeah, it's 100%. only existed inside here. Right, which right. Is wild. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. There was a scene where I went down on myself, <laughs> and I played both characters. Dude, you're like a you. You really are an amazing <laughs> <Yes>. person. <laughs> I'm so in love with, with Liz. <laughs> it's the thing I've ever heard. It's yes. and I do have this on video. <laughs> And also, you get like stretches, like special stretches, or did you buy like a prosthetic that looks like your legs are over? I your was own a shoulders? lot younger at the time, but like, uh, no, I just like kept switching positions and like was there a bed like what it was a chair it was a nice. chair yeah uh-huh. yeah and so we like cheated where it was like the side view for the audience i mean this play oh, was insanity you should oh. make a documentary about the making of that play. oh yeah like a documentary that's a good one a mockumentary of making yes that play. that's a you great idea the footage yep the real footage yep i <laughs> sure have it oh, yeah i would watch that thank you a josh little, oh, like my God. 50 second clips <laughs> right <laughs> right, <laughs> right. You, every week it's like an episode of <laughs> insanity <laughs> totally that's really funny it's like the last dance but it's just you <laughs> that's my yeah. favorite that's the best backhanded compliment I've ever I would watch I would totally watch that in, in like 50, 50 seconds, seconds. <laughs> but, yeah I, don't, I wouldn't commit a whole like no, hour I, I mean, but increments I would be on totally it. right with commentary which is what you oh, need yes. like cutting to that. you trying to play it straight yeah well because people ask like did you know because you were a law professor did that give you like a leg up in stand because I I would get up in front of people for seven years it's so different though it's so different and like I didn't have to be charming I mean I was funny for a law professor which Uh is a very low bar right (laughs) hugely low bar yeah okay like I was like I I would kill at 11 in the morning teaching property but it's because the alternative is like being bored to almost death it's like never being touched and then someone brushes against totally skin yes. slightly touches yours right it's melt <laughs> but it, it's true and so it was very different and also like I didn't know it's not like when I was teaching and and I, I would get laughs but they were completely accidental yeah it wasn't like I was like searching for like oh I should end on that word yes. oh, right. to get yeah, the big yeah, yeah. laugh well, like it chess. wasn't yeah. no it wasn't chess and right nuanced, like and is. also there were huge stretches where I wouldn't get laughs and nobody cared because it was property. remember those days where that wouldn't bother you yeah. when you wouldn't get a laugh for long um, stretches now you're no. all away from balls <laughs> around <laughs> you didn't get a laugh for longer right. than 30 seconds uh, some crowd work uh, <laughs> does anyone know the facts of the case <laughs> or like Ed is gig is taken out on the audience <laughs> Look at this stupid fuck walking in here. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. He had something. Right. That's great. He's just sitting down with his son. <laughs> He's sitting down with his disabled son. Come on, Ed. <laughs> the guy, at least let him get to, uh, next to the table before he's going on. <laughs> yeah. So, 
Okay, so that that was how so you were doing yeah. stand up while still working as a professor. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, and then so you didn't quit right away. You didn't I like did do it. the one person show and was like, "Everybody, fuck off, I'm out." Well, yeah. I would have walking in with your resignation. <laughs> I so he, the thing <laughs> was, like, yikes. <laughs> yeah, well, they did anyway. Yeah, of course but basically, they did. what happened was like I did stand up on March fifth of 2013 and on February 10th of 2014 so like just shy of a year later um, I was back at Hofstra after that semester and I get a phone call from the dean and the dean was like you know we're doing this buyout thing because like we're having like a budget moment and that I took a buyout oh, that's oh, what that, happened see that's oh. called the universe telling I know. you what to do well and it wow. gets even more particular than that which is this is a little bit of a crazy story of it but like I'll just tell you yeah, yeah. Um, which is so the day after my first ever stand up set not and this was like the air was like getting ready for me to write a one woman wedding and I was like completely bonkers like I was like I'm a celebrity I'm going to headline Madison Square yeah. Garden like everything yeah, is happening yeah. and like this is just the beginning like just yeah. get ready world okay yeah. completely <laughs> insane get ready world oh, right God. this really sums up who you're dealing <laughs> with <laughs> and, and it's I it's so embarrassing when you look back so at that enthusiasm it's so embarrassing oh, I know <laughs> and I was still on drugs like it was just it was just like bad it for made, everybody it probably made it so good though. oh God <laughs> Right, because I oh, had man. no oh, awesome. such a rush. I had yeah, no yeah. shame about it. Yeah, I was just like yeah. going so with it. You're yeah. getting high, totally, totally. You're thinking of it. Yep. You're writing all this nonsense. Oh my down. god! I, I got a label maker and like was making <laughs> files of every everything that ever happened in my life and, and stories and jokes and whatever. Okay, so that era, I um I did my first gig ever like that show at the Mm. improv theater whatever the next morning I had this like daydream where I'm on the tonight show (laughs) not even I'm straight to the couch okay and I'm talking you know on the tonight show and and this was when I was seven years into teaching which is notable because in the interview portion of this daydream I get asked, so you were a comedian for a decade and then you just like left to be a law professor? And in the daydream, I say, well, actually, Jimmy, it wasn't a decade. It was only nine years. And I was like, oh, that's so funny. That's so funny (laughs) to round down from 10 to nine. And I like called my mom. I was like, mommy, this is the thing. This, this is like, I have this vision. And my mother's like, Elizabeth, I'm not sure that's funny. And... and (laughs) And I was like, I was like, but it is. It's like, it's like nobody rounds down from ten to nine. And she's like, Elizabeth, don't quit your day job. And oh, dude, and I, I love she dropped mind. a real joke on you. <laughs> 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 don't quit your day job. Ooh. Yeah, totally. And I wrote on a piece of paper, don't quit for a bit, especially if it's not even funny. And but I still had yeah. that like, You're like scene. A motivational. Uh, drug addict uh, yeah yeah <laughs> I was well that's like why I would do drugs is I would do drugs and be like what am I, what am I gonna do for my career yeah. you wow. know like that optimism that's, even wow. even like pot it wasn't just like you know if I was on cocaine and like coming up with podcast yeah. ideas or whatever but but anyways so <clears throat> I have that. I want to see that list, by the way. <laughs> Sidebar. Right. Sure. The lawyer humor. <laughs> Believe me, I, I can pull it up on my notes. But but anyway, so I was in that and like had this nine year thing in my head, right? And also was like, but also like just be normal, Liz. Like try at yeah. least. And then when I was on the phone on February 10th of 2014 with the dean of my law school, him telling me all these like buyout things, the way that they structure that kind of a conversation, first of all, they don't give you like a piece of paper because they don't want you to leak it to somewhere. Oh, what's with Uh, Hofstra and whatever. Anyway, so he's on the phone with me and I was also on the way to a funeral. Uh, (laughs) So we're in a processional. A lot of death. A lot of death happening in that car. Yeah. (laughs) Processional on the way from New Jersey northern new jersey to uh wilkes barre pennsylvania mm-hmm. okay oh wow so it was like That's and, and my friend yeah. who's driving is like i feel like i'm in jail like 30 miles an hour on i-80 oh. and yeah yeah and so and and side note also like the person who died was like very inspirational and t- to me in terms of just like going for it and like believing in like what's for you mm-hmm. and so you know i do think that's relevant but anyway i don't like to mention the name just because like you know sure. i don't know sure. but um just out of respect but but she's amazing so anyway i'm with two friends in the front and like you know we're looking for stuff to do in the car 
right? And so I'm like, well, I have to call the dean back. He called me. You know, I was out from school for the mm. funeral, but and I was just like, am I getting fired? Even though I had tenure, I was always thinking I was going to get fired. And so I was like, how, so my friends were like, call him back. Like, what are we doing? We're like, you going thirty, you're going miles, 30 an miles an hour, hour yeah, three hundred miles. hours, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we have time. Give us entertainment. Yeah. And so anyway, so I'm in the back. They're two in the front. They're listening. You know, we're all in it, yeah. right? And these are like my best friends from high school and stuff. So anyway, um, it's like a coming of age movie. <laughs> yeah. And so so anyway, <laughs> then. <laughs> so the blue <laughs> route <laughs> yeah so we the dean's on the phone and he's like okay we're having this budget moment and so I'm offering all of the tenured faculty buyouts and so he has to go through each of them and I'm like writing down in my planner like with a pen you know uh, I borrowed it but I gave it back yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. that's a call back to a <laughs> joke I, that yes. was pre-podcast yeah, yeah. but I didn't yes. forget your fork okay no no so, you got the sharp joke in <laughs> okay good so people good. know what that's about oh, that was good. a good call back okay Solid. good good thank yeah. you so anyway um, I am writing down you know so it's like you know you could do half time a quarter time and you get this amount of money whatever and then there's like a million options and the second to last one is or somebody could elect to quit at the end of this year and then you'd get like whatever amount of money or and this was the last one and this was my eighth year that we're on the phone because seven I started stand up eight we're in the phone conversation and then the last option he's like or somebody could decide to quit at the end of next year and I'm like that's nine years (laughs) And I'm like looking at my planner and like literally my, my best friends are in the front seat. Like what the hell is happening? And I was like, I said to my, the Dean who was my friend, Eric, I said, Eric, I choose the last one. And he was like, I'm sorry, what? And I was like, no, that's the one I pick. He's like, okay, but like you don't have to pick any of these. I I'm just legally required to read them to you. And I told him about my daydream. <laughs> And meanwhile, like my friends are just like this. So they're hearing you re- yes. recall yes. the daydream. Yes. Oh God. To, to the dean of the law school. Oh my God. And quit on. And I was like, Yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave <laughs> at the end of next year. And he's like, Okay, crazy, bye. And then we went to a funeral. It was actually nine, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Who's fucking Jimmy? Right, right. God, I gotta make nine more of these yeah. calls, Liz. Can you just tell me what you're picking? Yeah. So that that's that was when I, I quit. Oh, Liz, God. plug where you're at, please. I uh, well, I live in New York City, and a well, lot. Where can yeah. they find your dates? Oh yeah, and all yeah, that. totally. Dear Liz Glazer. Do not your hat. Don't give your address. <laughs> Yeah, well, dear. I, I do have a house. <laughs> it has a lot of silverware in it, and if I'm being honest, a couple of markers too. Um, no, dear Liz Glazer, like you're writing me a letter. dot com, uh, but you can also Google Liz Glazer comedy, and you'll find me. What's your handle? Give them that at Liz Glazer. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Oh, right on. Two Z's. <laughs> oh. L I Z G L A Z E R. Oh, I had no yeah. idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, two Z's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, totally. yeah. All right, yeah. of course. Yeah. yeah. Uh, at Josh Ricardo, Josh Ricardo. dot com. We have. A ton of dates. Yeah, we got gigs. Uh, That's fun. I mean, we're talking like 15, 16 dates fun. maybe coming up. So uh, just check out my website. It's on there, and you can buy tickets from the links there. Yep. Follow me on Instagram at Comedy. Go to edmcgowan.com. You'll also see those dates. Email us if you want to get in contact with us. If you've ever been a part of a cadre, <laughs> if you, I'm trying to get in your shot <laughs> to be part of your cadre. Oh, it's a lot. It's a lot. oh is it? Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, you're you're on a lot of these. <laughs> yeah, there's four cameras. <laughs> your geotag at this. Point. <laughs> Email oh, hey, us. <laughs> holiday parties. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We are doing holiday parties now. So we want to come to your office if you have that kind those of. Those are so fun. If you have a garage, you're a mechanic, and you want us to come in there Ooh. on off hours and do jokes. Ah. We'll do that. That Ooh, will perform pep anywhere. Anybody yeah. works at a oh, pet place. If you were going to do the show for free, yeah, yeah. Do it, dude, do I, would, I would love. I would, I'll work show. an auto zone. We'll yeah. bring Liz. Ah, <laughs> I was supposed to do an auto zone gig. Seriously? I'm going to offer you yes. the lowest amount, and I want you to be like, ah. for a pet boys, this is all you're paying. <laughs> oh, fucking pet boys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> break something over my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Email us at workingclasscomedians at gmail.com. We'll see you guys again next week. You can listen to us on all major podcast platforms every Wednesday. You can follow us on Instagram at Working Class Holes. Also, make sure you watch the full show on YouTube. All you got to do is type in Working Class Holes. And please don't forget to rate us five stars and tell a friend. Come on. 